Hello guys, my name is Jesus and I'm gonna be your art instructor for today. I am so excited about this beautiful painting we're gonna be working on today. We're gonna be working on this beautiful United States flag and you see we're gonna have stars, we're gonna have trees, we're gonna have a lot of things going on. So I'm so excited and I'm hoping you are excited as well. So let's start. For this activity, we're gonna need our white canvas and paint, black, blue, red, white. We also are gonna need our plate, a big brush, small brush, a cup with water, an apron, and some napkins. All right, guys, before we start, if you have one apron, make sure you put it on. I'm gonna put my apron right now because I don't wanna get any paint on my clothes. So this is where I'm gonna put my apron. So we don't get paint on our clothes. And I am ready to paint. All right, we're gonna start pouring some paint in our plate. And it's gonna be the size of a quarter. You see, this is about the size of a quarter. We're gonna get some black paint. Blue paint. Some red. And some white. Try not to put too much paint on the plate. It's better if you put a little bit at a time. That way you don't waste the paint. All right, let's start. All right guys, so for our first step, we're gonna get a little bit of black with a big brush. We're gonna get a little bit of black and we're gonna make a line on top, just like this. And I'm gonna clean my brush on the canvas, making sure I don't have more paint, just like that. So one big line of black on top. And our next step, without cleaning the brush, we're gonna get some of the blue. We wanna make it a little bit dark. And we're gonna continue painting with blue. And we're gonna keep going down you see I'm getting some of the black in there and that's what we want. And we're gonna keep going down with the blue. From one side to the other, from one end to the other, like this. You see the whole arm. Don't paint like this, not like this. We wanna use the whole arm. And we're gonna keep going with the blue. I ran out of paint, so I'm gonna get a little bit more blue. And we are going to cover the whole thing up to two thirds. So you see we have one third, two thirds, three thirds. So we're gonna cover two thirds of the, of the whole canvas with blue. And I'm going a little bit fast, but anytime you can just pause the video and catch up with us. So if you get behind, it's okay, just pause the video so you can catch up with us. And this is gonna be our step one. It's gonna be our sky. So we have beautiful blue here and a little bit of black on the top. And this is gonna be our step number one. Make sure you clean your brush really good. This is the way you're gonna clean it. You're gonna press on the bottom, the circles, and you're gonna clean the water, the excess of water, just like this. 
and we're gonna get our napkin and we're gonna clean it pretty good. Make sure it has no paint on it. If it has a little bit of paint, clean it again. So make sure you have no paint because now we're gonna use the red and the white. So we want our brush to be really, really, really clean. I got another one here. All right, so my brush is ready for our next step. All right, we have completed step number one. So now we're gonna let it dry for about five minutes. And once it's completely dry, we're gonna come back with step number two. All right, for step two, we're gonna start working on our stripes. And before we do, I have a question for you. How many stripes does the flag of the United States has? Please comment below with your answer. All right, let's start with color red. So we're gonna get some of the red and we're gonna work on our first stripe. We're gonna start from our right end and we're just gonna go like this, pressing and letting it go like that. So we're gonna press with red and we're gonna let it go. So we're gonna do five. That's gonna be our first one. We're gonna do one more here and we wanna leave some room because we're gonna come back with the white stripes. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So you see we have five marks for our five, five red st stripes. So, we're gonna do the same thing, press here, and we're gonna let it go, like that. We're gonna come back again, press, and we're gonna let it go. And if, it, if it's a little bit transparent, that's okay, we're gonna come back again later. So we're gonna press, and we're gonna let it go, like that. So we're gonna get more red, press, and we let it go. So we're working on step number two. So now we're gonna let it dry for five minutes and then we're gonna come back with more red on top of the red. All right, our painting is almost dry. So we're gonna continue working with red and we're gonna get some of the red and we're gonna put it on top of our, of our red stripes because we want it to make really, really red. So. We're gonna go one time again with red. We're gonna let it go like that. You see it's getting, it's getting more red now. This one, I, I kinda wanna make it across. So we're gonna make it go all the way across. All the way across. Work on the next one. And our last stripe. Just like that. So you see now it's more red. And that's what we want. We want a really, really nice red in our stripes. Okay, so let's clean our brush making sure our brush is really, really clean because now we're gonna start working with the white stripes. And I see some of you guys already start commenting. That's great. So remember the question is how many stripes does the flag of United States has? And if you know the answer, comment below. So we're gonna clean our brush again, really clean. We don't want it to have any paint and it needs to be really dry because now we're gonna use white. You see it's really dry and it has no more paint. Now if your water is dirty, just you can just go ahead and pour this water on the sink, get new water and you can also rinse your brush in the sink. And I'm gonna do that right now, just for you. 
All right, so I'm gonna throw my water away and I'm gonna get new water, clean water. And since I'm here, I'm gonna rinse my brush really good, making sure it has no paint. So clean brush and brand new water. All right, guys, now we're gonna start working on our white stripes. But before you paint, make sure your painting is completely dry. So do not paint if your painting is still wet. So let's wait about five minutes and then we're gonna come back and work on our white stripes. For our next step, we're gonna work on our white stripes and those are gonna go between each red. So let's get some of our paint. Let's get some of our white paint. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. So we're gonna do four white stripes. And we're gonna do it the same way. We're gonna start from here. We're gonna go in the middle and we're gonna let it go like that. So remember, it doesn't need to go all the way to the end. You have to stop before. We're gonna do it again. On the next one, we're gonna press and we are going to let it go like that. Our next stripe, we're going to press and we're going to let it go. Actually, this one, we're gonna go, we're gonna make it all the way to the end. So let's just keep going all the way to the end. And this one as well, we're gonna go all the way to the end, like that. So we're gonna have our four, four white stripes. And after that, we're gonna clean our brush again, because now we're gonna start working with black. So make sure your brush is really clean. Make sure your brush is really, really, really clean. Mine is almost there. And now we're gonna get our napkin and we're gonna clean the rest of the paint off. Just like that. So now we have a clean brush and we're ready for next. Okay, so for our next step, we're gonna work on our black trees that are going here on the bottom. So let's get some of our black paint and let's paint those black trees. For step number four, we're gonna work on the line of trees that is going below here. So let's get some of our black paint. Let's get some more black paint. And we're gonna cover all this white area. So remember, it's one third, two thirds, and the third third is gonna be all, all black. So let's paint all black. We're gonna start from the bottom and we're gonna go up. I'm running out of paint here. So remember, if you run out of paint, it's okay. Let's just get a little bit more. I'm gonna get a little more paint here. Get more black. Remember, we're using our, our big brush. And we'll continue painting all the way to the top until we cover all the white spot. Now, if you go over it a little bit, it's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. We don't wanna see a perfect line, so it's fine. We're gonna cover it with a tree, so it's okay if you go over it a little bit like that. So now that we have covered all the area here with black, we're going to start working in our trees. So let's put a big brush away Let's put it on the water, just leave it there. We're not gonna need it for now. And let's bring our small brush. 
Okay, so now that we have our small brush, we're gonna get some of the black and we are going to start working on the trees. How many trees are we gonna make? Well, we're gonna make 13 trees. And if you know why we're making 13 trees, please comment below so we know that you know. This is a secret. So you might know why we're painting 13 trees. So if you know why we're painting 13 trees, please comment below. So we're gonna start in the middle with one. And it's gonna go all the way to the middle. So don't, don't go past the middle. So we're gonna go from the bottom up to the middle. So we're gonna do one. And then we're gonna do six on this side and six on this side. And they don't have to be all the same size. We're gonna make big ones and small ones. So let's make uh, two more big ones. One, two big ones, and two big ones on this side. One, two. Now we have two and two and one, that's five. So remember, we need to have six here and six here. So we need four more. One, two, three, and four. So we have six, and now we have one, that's seven, and we're gonna paint six more on this side. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you have to have a total of 13 trees. So we're gonna paint 13 trees. Okay, this is the way you're gonna do it. We're gonna start with this one, with the big one, and the branches are gonna go this way, like this. So you see we have a small branches and then they're gonna get in bigger, like this. It's kind of like you're doing a letter U. So don't make straight lines. It's gonna be like a letter U. And sometimes you can practice on your plate. Sometimes I like to practice on my plate. So if I have a line like that, so my branches are gonna go like this. One, two, three. So the branches are kind of going like this. You see, and then we are making bigger branches on the bottom. And that's how we're making our trees. You can always practice on your plate or practice on a piece of paper and then go ahead and paint it, paint it on your canvas. Okay, let's continue with the next tree. And for that, we're gonna make it a little bit closer for you so you can see better. We're gonna work on the, on the big ones first. So you see, I'm gonna start with small branches on the top. One, two, three. And it doesn't matter how many you do. and then they get it bigger on the bottom until they disappear. Then we're gonna make more here, the big one here. Until they mix with the black on the bottom. Let's paint this one now. One more big one right here. Now let's work, let's work on the small ones. Same thing, small branches on top, big branches on the bottom. And here is kind of like an arrow. So think about like you're doing an arrow. You see, they're like arrows going up. So those are like my arrows. You see? They're like arrows going up. And then you just keep going down. Like that. And now we're gonna finish all the trees. And I'm sure by now you have more practice, so you can do it faster. If not, it's okay. Take your time. If you get behind, just pause the video. You can always pause the video 
and watch it later once you catch up. So it's okay if you get behind, don't get frustrated, don't cry. I know some of you like to cry when you get behind. It's okay, just pause the video and keep working once you finish with our step. All right, so now we have all the trees lining together, our 13 beautiful trees. And we also have our beautiful sky with the flag of the United States. And now we're gonna work on the last step, which is the stars. And I have a question for you. How many stars that the flag of the United States has? If you know the, the, the answer, Please comment below so we know you are there. We know you're painting with us. Before we move to the stars, before we paint our stars here, we're gonna add some grass in between the trees. So let's just add a little bit of grass in between. And this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna press and push up. So we're gonna add a little bit of grass just to connect our trees. So make sure you put the grass in between the trees. That way we have our grass and you see our trees are connected. We just added a little bit of grass in here. So all our trees are gonna be connected. That's gonna be um, the last step with the black paint. So right now we're gonna clean our brushes and make sure your brushes are clean. You can leave the big one in the water, that's fine. We're gonna clean the small one right now. Guys, for our last step, we're gonna work on our beautiful stars here. And before we do, I have a question for you. How many stars does the flag of the United States has? If you know the, the answer, please comment below. We want to know that you know. So let's start with our last and final step. For our next step, we're gonna get some of our white paint. Make sure your small brush is clean. So we're gonna get some of our, our white paint. And we're gonna start working in our stars and we're gonna do 10, 10 at a time. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there you go. We have our 10 first starts and spread them. Don't put them all together. Just spread them all on this area, kind of like a snow. Like think about like a snow is falling, but they are gonna be starts. So it's not a snow, starts. Think about starts. All right, let's get more. 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10, 10 plus 10 equals 20. So now we have 20 stars, and now we're gonna work on the next 10. And make sure you spread them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we have 10 more. So 20 plus 10, that's 30 starts. And now we have 20 left. So let's work on the next 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we have 40 and now we need to do 10 more. So let's get more white paint. And it doesn't matter if there are different sizes, it's okay. Not all the stars are the same size. So some of, some of them are gonna be bigger, some of them smaller, it's fine. So let's do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have a bigger ones here, so I have a total of 50 starts, which represents the 50 states of the flag of the United States. And the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work on our signature. So choose a, uh, an area where you wanna put your signature, usually in the corners, choose one of the corners, and you're gonna put your, your initials right there. So let's put my initials in one of these corners. All right, to put my initials here in this corner, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna get some of the white paint with a small brush, and I'm gonna put my initials, initials here in this corner. And those are my initials. It's a letter M and a letter R, 
then those are my initials make sure you put your initials not mine make sure you put your initials here in one of these two corners and we are pretty much done all right guys i'm hoping you guys enjoy your time of painting this is a pretty easy painting but i want you to post a comment and post a picture of your painting once you finish if you paint it with your mom or with your brother so you guys did different paintings in the same house i want you guys to take a picture and post it so we can all see your beautiful art my name is jesus and i'm hoping to see you on our next paint night event